try to avoid the nut jobs, you know, like the Jaguar rights and so forth. I wanted to ask you about her, man. Yeah. She she crazy. When I see you you on the Piers Morgan thing, I was like, yeah, Piers needed to keep everyone separate for that one because it would have been just a bloodbath. No, I, I was going to cancel. Really? Like, you know, because I've been on Piers Morgan like, I don't know, four or five times, right? You know, we, we, yeah, I'm like a regular on, on the show at this Love point. That. And they reach out to me and I, and I always say yes, if, if I can make it, you know, as long as it doesn't, you know, you know, it doesn't overlap my actual work. Hmm. I'll say yes and do it. So... They reached out to me. The first time they reached out, I couldn't do it. The second time they reached out, I'm like, okay, cool, I'll do it. Then they, I saw the panel and I saw Jaguar rights on it. And I was going to cancel, honestly, because I just didn't really want to be part of this, you know, circus. But I'm like, all right, if I do it, I'm just going to address the, the stupidness of it. Yeah. And when she went on the whole rant, oh, it's Jay-Z, he's a bigger monster than Diddy. And, you know, rah, 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 like with absolutely no proof behind any of this stuff. That's why I had to address it. Yeah, you cooked her. Yeah, I just says it's all conspiracy theory. This this woman, from what I understand, she lives in a car. She was arrested for not returning a U-Haul. Uh, she's allegedly off her medications. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, you know, she did a whole rant afterwards about me saying that uh, I'm the reason why Boosie's house got raided by the feds. Boosie's house was not raided by the feds, by the way, just so you know. <laughs> so she's just making up stuff. Um, she said Jay-Z got Big L killed. Once again, fake story. I remember me and Fat Joe had a whole conversation about it. It was actually over Big L's brother. Big L's brother was a big Harlem drug dealer, and I think he was in prison, and they wanted to get at him, so they killed Big L instead. Why would Jay-Z kill Big L? In fact, Big L was about to sign a Rockefeller. So actually, if anything, that hurt Jay-Z, because mm -hmm. Big L was really like, you know, someone that really could have gotten big, especially with Rockefeller. So, uh, you know, she makes up this stuff over and over and over again, but I'm the bad guy for calling her out on it. And, and I just want to say this. People say, well, if she's lying, why hasn't she been sued? You can't sue someone who lives in a car. <laughs> Let me say this again. You can't sue someone who lives in a fucking car. Jay-Z finna take that car, man. Listen, I've been on both sides of lawsuits. I've sued people and I've gotten sued. A lawsuit could easily cost you half a million dollars if it goes to court. So you go to court, you spend half a million dollars, you win, and there's nothing to collect. So let's say I win a million dollar judgment from Jaguar Wright. She lives in a car. What the fuck can I do? Like, I'm never going to collect that in my whole lifetime. So I just spent half a million dollars to prove a point. Nobody's going to do this. You can't sue broke people, you know. At least not in America. I know the UK has different sets of laws and so forth, but that's why she hasn't been sued. This is why she's able to keep spouting this nonsense because no one really takes her seriously. And I understand that people believe her and they'll protect Jaguar right. She's If you say a million insane things and one of them ends up being true, people don't look at the other 999,000 that were false. They just look, oh, she was talking about Diddy three years ago. So look, look it came true. What about the other 50 people she talked about that none of it came true, like Jay-Z? No, they don't want to talk about that. So what, what do you think of the Jay-Z allegations? Because I did do a video breaking down the allegations on Jay-Z, but to be fair, I ended it with a conclusion where I said, look, I don't personally believe it's true, but this is what the theory is. But do you know about the theory she's referring to with Jay? No. So, okay, so here's the story, right? I did a little breakdown of this. Um, the theory is, okay, Jay-Z was partying with Diddy, in Las Vegas, all right. <laughs> this, this is a, this is a serious theory, you know. I'm saying, Jack, you're right. Serious theory. Okay. Um, that he he was partying uh, with Diddy in Las Vegas. Ended up meeting a woman called Kathy White, who he allegedly allegedly according to this, I don't personally believe all of this. This is the alleged mistress, right? The alleged mistress. Okay. Um, ends up having a little situation with her, um, allegedly. A little bit of time passes, and then she's gonna move out to. Uh, I think she's gonna move. I think it's from New York to L.A. She's got this whole life plan, and then you start hearing these rumors of her being the mistress come out. And there was a, a big, um, like a big Hollywood kind of gossip blog that started exposing her, saying that she's Jay Z's mistress, she's a home wrecker, all of this stuff. And uh, she, essentially, the story goes that she she kind of wound up dead. She died very suddenly of a brain aneurysm, which in in Jay's defense, that does happen. You know, yeah. People get brain aneurysms and die. It does happen. It's fluky, but it does happen. Obviously, the theory 
is that Jay Z and the sent the hitters to take her out and make it look like a brain aneurysm, all of this stuff. There's all these little tidbits of information that supposedly support this. There's the very famous Kanye rant where he jumps on stage and he says, Jay Z, I know you got killers. Please don't send them at my head. The theory is that he's that it's a reference to that. There's even this is where I really jumped out the window with it in my my breakdown of it. There's this theory that there's a couple of lyrics on a Beyonce album where she talks about a, a rival female getting killed for messing with her man. And again, I don't personally believe the whole thing's true, but this is the theory and this is the stuff that Jag's pushing along with a couple of other people is that the idea that Jay-Z and Diddy be making people disappear. Again, I'm not giving too much credit to it, but they say that what happened to Kim Porter, what happened to Kathy White, these, these high profile rappers, they can make people disappear and die suddenly, all of this stuff. Now look, that's the theory. I don't personally believe it. I don't think Jay-Z is the next big evil joker out of the industry, but that's the theory that's going on. And it's all tied in with Diddy and the situation with them meeting in Las Vegas and all of this stuff. So that's what people are referring to. For the record, I don't personally believe it's true. Jay-Z, please don't send those hitters at my head. You know what I'm saying? But that's the theory. I put out the theory and I said, I don't personally believe it's true. Claudia Jordan, who I know, who I've interviewed before, uh, she addressed all this nonsense and said it's all bullshit. She said she did actually know Kathy Wright. They partied together a couple of times. She was never pregnant. They were drinking and smoking during the time they were partying. And she said it's all nonsense. And, and that's the thing. Like, there's literally no proof of any of this stuff. It's just a crazy person rambling. Well, it, it, interestingly, we kind of broke it down in our uh, in the documentary where, you know, we kind of worked out the exact source of. Uh, do, do you remember? Do you remember the name of the blog that the original thing was? The name. It was like Hollywood Street. They're basically, it's like a Hollywood gossip blog that kind of originated this theory, um, and we kind of traced exactly where the kind of the bullshit popped off as far as like this fake theory coming around, and it was a gossip blog that was pushing it. But everything was really based on the fact of like a couple of photographs that were taken with Diddy and Jay and Claudia and um, and uh, Kathy at this party. And then just everything kind of spiraled from there. But it really just goes to show you how crazy social media can get. And then you got someone like Jaguar Wright that she's constantly pushing it that like Jay-Z's next, Jay-Z's next. And I think it's like, you know, it's 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 very sensational. People want people are looking for the next Diddy. They're looking, oh, is it going to be Jay-Z? So I can see the insatiable like hunger for people to find the next guy that this thing's going to happen to. But... I think it's just one of those gossip things that's gone out of control. Um, but a lot of people have written about it. A lot of people have, you know, talked about this case like it's fact. Um, but yeah, I don't personally believe it's true, but it's a crazy theory.